welcome back to ground support equipment an introductory course in this lecture we shall learn about the non powered ground support equipment these equipment are those which does not require any electrical or hydraulic power for their operation these equipment are operated manually such as chocks or if you call it blocks aircraft service stairs tripod jacks and dollies we shall discuss their use and types further in this lecture let us begin with the chocks they are used to prevent an aircraft from moving while parked at its stand or inside a hangar chocks are placed in front and back of the wheels of the landing gear they are made out of hardwood or hard rubber chocks are typically found in pairs and connected by a segment of rope or cable Aircraft tripod jacks are used to support a parked aircraft to prevent their tail from drooping or even falling on the ground. When the passengers in the front get off an aircraft, the aircraft becomes tail heavy, which may cause the tail to droop. Using the jack is optional, but not all aircraft need it. But when it is needed, they are tugged to the tail and set up by manpower. Once the setup is done, no provision to the jack is needed until the aircraft is ready to leave apart from it jacks are also used for lifting the aircraft for the purpose of wheel change or maintenance similarly aircraft service stair helps the maintenance technician for maintenance or servicing activities at the undercarriage of an aircraft or above the aircraft there can be different designs of the stairs depending upon the use They are also used for boarding of a passengers of an aircraft parked at a remote stand. Well, non-powered equipment does not need much explanation. They are simple and easy to use depending upon their availability and necessity at the airport. Last but not the least, dollies are used for transportation of loose baggage, oversized bags, mail bags, loose carton boxes, etc. between the aircraft and the terminal or sorting facility dollies for loose baggage are fitted with the brake system which blocks the wheels from moving when the connecting rod is not attached to a tug most dollies for loose baggages are completely enclosed except for the sides which uses plastic curtains to protect the items from weather dollies for unit load devices and cargo pallets are standard size flat bed trolley or platform with many wheels roller bars or ball bearings protruding above the top surface for easy loading and unloading of ulds and cargo pallets respectively since ulds and cargo pallets rest on ball bearings these dollies are equipped with hinges or locks to secure the position of the ulds on them during tugging transportation The aviation industry adopted ULDs to be lightweight containers and supporting platforms respectively intended to be loaded onto aircraft and fly along with their load they need to be minimum in weight and thus do not have wheels or strong base structure dolly fleet management is an issue specific to the aircraft ground support industry as dollies are inexpensive consumable equipment An airport usually has more than one dolly fleet operator. An apron is a large area in which using a direct eyesight to find any item is not very easy. A dolly in operation needs frequent detachment and reattachment from the tug and other dollies. Major airports are starting to attach battery power active RFID tags to dollies to facilitate their fleet management. The active RFID tags can be detected up to 100 meter away in an open space from the fixed RFID radar antenna which can be mounted at an aircraft loading bridges. So I hope that you understand the introduction part. As of now we have finished the section 1. See you all in the next lecture.